In the genre of Japanese animation, Nichijo is an anime that's famous among animators for where it spent its animation budget. While other cartoons put all their money into fight sequences and making sure the first and last episodes look spectacular, here comes Nichijo like, hey, I'm gonna put all my money on spilling a pot of curry. There are lots of interesting and funny sequences in this anime, but I wanted to take a closer look at the penny soccer scene. I'm gonna play it for you, so here it is. <laughs> This is a scene that goes seamlessly from 3D to 2D, and I'm dumbfounded by it. I want to see exactly where or how they did this and when it switches from 3D to 2D, so let's take a look here. We start off with the 2D show style, and then it goes to pure 3D, which is pretty obvious. There's the background and the characters, and they're all just 3D models. And there's not actually any animation here at all. The only thing moving is the camera. It's at some point in here that the character animation becomes 2D, so is that also true for the background? No, it's not. The background stays 3D. The part that gives it away is when the camera comes back around to its final resting spot. Look at how perfectly those desks align with zero changes in line quality. If they were drawn by hand, those lines would wobble. It's easy to see when you compare the desks with the characters. Line motion? No line motion. And now that I'm seeing that this background is 3D, I'm wondering if the classroom has always been 3D, and we didn't realize it until this episode. Backtrack to the setup before the scene I played. Is that desk the same as this desk? It's really hard to tell. What gave it away is actually the white feet here and the gray feet here. That's the only thing that suggests to me that this desk is hand-drawn and this one is not. If we leave the soccer scene and go earlier into the episode, a shot like this shows the hand-drawn nature of the desks. There are lots of little differences between the backs of the chairs. Well then how do the backgrounds stay so accurate? Well, the background artists are drawing on top of a 3D model to begin with. You can make a 3D setting in a program like SketchUp and use it as a reference for drawing the same classroom at any angle accurately. It's a really great tool. Alright, back to soccer, and I think I know where the character animation changes. These highlights in the hair are painted directly onto the 3D model. They stay in the same place even as the camera moves. And it's right here that it changes. Once you figure out where it is, you can also see a change in the lines. From here to here, they do get a little bit thicker. And there's a couple of other small changes too. From this point, the reason the rest of the rotation looks like it's still 3D is because the character animators still have the 3D models to draw on top of for reference. Animating on top like that is called rotoscoping. For the final animation, the 3D characters are removed, and all we see is the 3D classroom and the 2D characters. As for why this is the switching point, it's likely because the characters don't look believable in 3D once the camera gets this close. There aren't any lights or shaders in the 3D setting, so shadows like this wouldn't show up unless somebody drew them by hand. And of course, 2D animation lets you make fake anatomy, so this mouth would not show up on the side of the face on the 3D model. So that's it. That's one way to achieve a seamless transition between 3D and 2D animation, and most people won't even know you did it.